we've just been to that castle which I cannot pronounce the name now we are on our way to the next one which is again I cannot pronounce <laughs> but I will tell you once we get there I'm oh, going nice. to show you you know the shot of the complete name so yes it's another castle and it's going to look grand again so here we go see you later Right mga friendships, here we are. Welcome to Penryn Castle. So Penryn Castle is one of the most enormous houses in Britain. It is an extensive fantasy castle by Thomas Hopper, largely built from the early 1820s to 1837 for George Hay Dawkins Pennant. Number three. Right, mga friendships, in case you are wondering what these two boys are doing, they are doing a woodland trail. So, they are being guided by the returning swallows that will guide them around the Adventure Nature Trail. So, they're going to follow them around the garden to two different locations where they can interact and engage with nature and the open space around them. So, they can leap like lambs, feel for texture, contemplate for the far-reaching views, build a bird's nest, and wake the wild things in them or collect a special chocolatey prize in the end and tie the, the ribbon uh, at, at the end of the trail and they can make a pledge or something like that. And also, mga friendship, the castle is, is also home to some rather extensive grounds. The gardens measure an impressive 60 acres with a star attraction being the beautiful Daddy, Victorian walled garden. So, and it is also Daddy, surrounded with exotic shrub collection. Yeah, so, Pendrick sure. Castle attracts a rather diverse crowd, in part because it is also yeah. believed to be home to it's some okay. more ethereal inhabitants it, like it is rumored to be haunted inside. well the best time really to come to Pendrin castle is in october yeah. which is yes. halloween time At and time, because the castle hosts a variety of spooky evening ghost walks really tadpoles 
That's what the lady was saying. Yeah, but the lady, what did the lady call it? The lady said, newt. But newt. I call it catapult, because a baby. Yeah, they call it newt. And you know, a uh, drunk man, they call a drunk man newt as well. So because frozen. a drunk man looks like so, a tadpole. So, 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 oh, mom, they're over there. Yeah, I know, there's so many of them. Yay, don't touch it, because it's dirty. The gardens of Penryn Castle still provide visitors today with as much enjoyment as they did during the Victorian era, when Walter Speed was head gardener. During his long career, he was regarded as one of the top three gardeners in the whole of Britain. It was his creativeness that allowed for many newly discovered varieties to be planted and trialed in the gardens here making them the envy of many during that period. True hope is swift and flies which swallows wings. William Shakespeare. So my friendships. We are now in another uh, castle. Look at these flowers. Again, tulips. Beautiful tulips. More tadpoles. Look. Kyle is looking at the tadpoles. Don't touch the water, huh? Because it's dirty. Yeah. Okay. Where's the frog? It's tadpoles here. Where's the frog? Maybe the frog is hiding somewhere. They are hibernating. So they're deep in the water. Yeah. The frogs are deep in the water. That is true. You are. And at the present, there are several examples of weird and wonderful plants at Pinrin Castle that continue to delight visitors and the garden team who care for them. So each visit to this place enables them to make sure that these fantastic plants and shrubs brought back all of those years ago are looked after for visitors to enjoy for years to come. tying his ribbon and this is where it all ends the trail the trail ends in this tree they have to tie the ribbon and that means that's the end of their trail and mga friendship can you see that castle that is the castle and it is very huge like it is really really huge What did it say? Mark your pledge by tying a knot in our promise tree. What is your promise? So let's hear Kuya Kash Kash promise. So I want to spend more time with my family. Mommy, I want to do my And your promise. A nice promise. Come here. I promise. To be nice to my friend. Okay, that's a good promise. So in here my friendships. On this tree, number eight tree, where they end their trail, 
at the bottom it says mark your pledge by trying a knot on your promise tree and that is what the boy said the promise so more about the castle mga friendship so this castle is now owned and run by the national trust Penryn Castle is an 18th century manor house located on the edge of the Snowdonia National Park. Built with money from the local slate quarries, the house is beautifully furnished in keeping with the design of the building and set in a large garden. Within the stable block is uh, something else entirely. So there are two separate museums, one dedicated to the industrial railways and another Hello, featuring model railways, so train aficionados will be well at home here. Really very beautiful here in the garden and the castle is huge. So we are in the garden and I'm going to show you what the castle is called because I cannot pronounce it. So here are these small friendships. It's called uh, Castle. Mga friendships, do you know that in 2014, David Haneke from the Welsh National Opera chose Pendrin Castle as the location for the video design for the company's summer performance of Claude Debussy in Famous Opera? And another one, mga friendships, HBO's 2019 television adaptation of the Watchmen franchise shot many scenes at the castle. They also recreated the castle as a 3D model for use in CGI scenes in the show. And last but not the least, a 2020 edition of the BBC's Flag It was filmed at the castle as well and included details of the Pindrin Slate quarries of 1900s to 1903. Great strike about union rights, pay and working conditions, a bitter battle between the second Lord Penryn and the quarry workers.